Andy and Cleopatra. Now, class, today, today we're going to talk about Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. Now, I know how y'all heard she's a beautiful woman. Well, now, she wasn't a beautiful woman. She wasn't beautiful at all. I mean, she's alright, but she wasn't beautiful. Now, you're going to ask me if she wasn't beautiful, then how come Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony and everybody was crazy over her? Well, now, you'll have to remember that Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony were soldiers in overseas. Now, 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 how, how Julius Caesar met her, he used to go down to Egypt every 4th of July, see, and he was down there spending the holidays, and he was just sitting around his tent one night by himself, lonely, reading, reading prescriptions, and she come walking in, and he was so struck by her that he just got up and gave her a seat. And he says, Ars mutatis longa visa mutatis brevis. And that means, Shores of mine, shrouds around the stump, you are my darling, sugar lump. Even in high school, he's good at verse. And anyhow, they got to fill around with supper, and he asked her to marry him. They did. They got married, and he took on back to Rome, and everybody got mad for marrying her. The senators of Rome found this man that killed him. The common alley one night and stabbed him, stabbed him right in his toga. And that's when Caesar said that famous line, just as he was dying, that famous line you might remember. He says to Brutus, he says, Et si brute? And Brutus says, Yeah, me too. Now, now, now it happens, it happens. There was this fellow, Mark Anthony, that was living around there at that time, and he was the old army buddy of Julius Caesar's, and he was a big man of civil service. Now, he killed all the senators, and it happened, you know, to get revenge. And it happened that he was going to go down to Egypt anyhow, and whilst he was down there, he thought he'd just stop up, stop in on Cleopatra. And he told her how he killed all the senators, and she, just, and she said how much he appreciated it, and they got to, and they got to like one another, and first thing you know, they was dating. There was. They was riding around the camels, sailing around a barge, fooling around back to pyramids. In fact, I appreciate it. In fact, somebody wrote on one of the pyramid walls, Anthony loves Cleopatra. It was right next to where somebody else wrote, Pharaoh was here. Everything was going good for him. Everything was going real good for him. But Mark Anthony had a wife, Rome, and she wouldn't give him a divorce. And it happened that her brother had just been elected emperor of Rome. And he come in one day and he says, Sister, you know what I'm going to do? She says, what? And he says, I'm going to go down there and I'm declare war on Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. And she says, would you? And he went down there and he was just whooping a fire out of him. There was dead Egyptians laying everywhere. Streets was full, tombs was full, and he ran all over Egypt looking for somebody to run through his sword. And everybody looked at him like it wasn't, like it was a nut, and he was peculiar. Couldn't find anybody to do it, so he ran himself through, and he expired. And Cleopatra, she heard of it, and she had the snake, just a little old baby thing, but poison, and that thing bit her, and her maid run there, run in, and her handmaid, and says, Mistress, Mistress, what happened? And she says, Snake bite. And she says, well, what you do? He's cut it where it beats you, and soak it. And she says, no, I meant to. And she says, why, oh, mistress, why? And she says, in articulo mortis. And that's that famous saying, in articulo mortis. And children, I hope all of you remember what that means, because I certainly don't.